<laughs> hey, welcome to the Daily Beard for May 1st, 2019, and I have uh, my best friend Brian with me. Hi. So, Brian, Brian um, has been my best friend for a lot of years, and he moved to BC recently. Where do you live now, roughly? I live in Smithers, BC, which, which has is like, like in the middle of Prince George and Prince Rupert. Yeah, there's like not a Walmart in the in where he lives. That's how small it is. Yeah. Which means it's small, because Walmart's everywhere. And we're famous for having sidewalks to nowhere. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, look it up. It's there. Awesome. So, he's out, <laughs> he's out here for a couple days, hanging with me. He was actually at a thing, but then that finished, and he came out and hung out with me um and i've talked about brian before he's he's uh my best friend uh one of my three my dog and my wife being the other ones uh he's one of my heroes because he's awesome so uh i thought i would ask brian to kind of give his I, i've talked in the one video about how we became best friends because there's an age difference brian you're i'm 44 you're 31 Two. 32 30, you just had a birthday yeah. last month or a month and a half ago or whatever a couple it was. weeks ago yeah so, um, yeah, so there's a bit of an age difference. So how did we become friends? Tell the story to them. Uh, so when I was six years old, uh, I went to the Salvation Army camp, Camp Obana, and Peter was my counselor there. So he was like, I'd say he and a co were in charge of looking after us, but he was in charge of looking charge after of us. <laughs> there's another guy, but he was just kind of there. Let's just say I don't even remember what the other guy looks like or his name or anything about him. Um, so that's when I first met Peter when I was six, and he would have been like... Dog barking, don't worry, just keep going. <laughs> like 18 or something? Uh, 19? 19. Yeah, so that's the age difference, like 12 years or yeah. something like that. Uh, so then um, one day... I went to a Salvation Army church when I was like 13 years old, um, and Peter came into our church one day, and I was kind of sitting in the front, and he and his wife kind of sat in the back, and I, the whole church service, I just kept looking over my shoulder, like, I really recognize that guy. I know that guy. Um, Not in a bad way. <laughs> <laughs> no, it it was camp, but yeah. nothing bad happened. Yeah. It wasn't one of those camps. <laughs> not a band camp, not, <laughs> nothing like that. Uh, so afterwards, I went up to him and I was like, hey, do I know you? And he was like, I don't know, but I think I know you too. I was like, hey, are you my camp counselor? And he was. Uh, so, yeah, that's how we met. Um, and then how did we become best friends? How we became friends is kind of a weirder, longer Not story. just friends, best friends. <laughs> BFFFs. Thank you very much. You're welcome very much. There you go. Uh, yeah, he was my youth pastor for a long time, um, and I was a pretty bratty kid, and he was pretty tolerant of me as a really bratty kid. Uh, that's, that's accurate. <laughs> that's pretty accurate. Um, and uh, I, uh, in my teenage years, kind of needed a father figure to look up to, and Peter became that for me. Um, then he left our church. Yeah. And I was super pissed at me. <laughs> I was very upset. And I probably didn't talk to you for like two years. I don't think it was that long, but it was a while. It was it was a good long while. Yeah. yeah. It was it, like Zion was a baby when you left and she was like walking and talking when I. Wow. Okay. So yeah, I, it was at least a year. Yeah. At least a year. Um, yeah. And then I just like wanted to introduce my new girlfriend to him. <laughs> oh yeah that's what it was too i forgot so, uh yeah i just randomly called him up and came out and hung out with him and then i just kept coming and hanging out with him yeah um then when i went to university i was really hungry a lot of times <laughs> but i had a car uh, yeah. so i drive down from school almost every night yeah and hang out with peter because he'd buy me dairy queen Here we go to dairy queen so, all the time. every day <laughs> all the time <laughs> It would literally be like a commercial break would come up on the show we were watching <laughs> like, and be like, so, Dairy Queen? Dairy Queen? And a Dairy Queen it was. Yes. Um, and then he went into financial ruin because of that, and we stopped going to Dairy Queen. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> it's expensive. Well, then you went to training college, I guess. Yeah, then then we went somewhere. Oh, no, that was no, my you... first year of college that you were in yeah. training college. Was it? I don't know. Yeah. And then that I really started hanging out with you a lot more after Yeah. That, when you guys came back. Yeah. So. And then we just kind of became Not best that friends. anybody necessarily who's watching this knows what training college is. It was another thing I did. <laughs> that's a whole nother, that's like a series of vlogs. <laughs> <laughs> so, but yeah, so I left to go to school. Is the, the, yes. You know. 
So, and then we came back and then you've moved a bunch since then. And I've moved, well, I haven't moved a bunch since then. I basically no, moved the I've same moved place, bunch, but you've, yeah. moved, you've moved all over the place, but we're still best friends. And so he's in from BC for a couple of days. So yeah, I just, I thought we'd get him on camera since I've talked about him a bunch of times and we'll probably talk about him a bunch more, more times. So Brian, I'm worth talking about. He is. He's also got a, a beautiful wife and, and two kids and another one on the way now. Yep. Um, I'm a godfather of one of them, not of the other one, because I'm stupid. Nothing to do with him. Um, <laughs> He'll be the godfather of the next one, yeah, too, though. Yeah, I so. technically am the godfather of all of them. I just was stupid enough to say no to the first one because yeah. of stupidity. That's a whole other thing. He hurt my feelings, and then Beth yelled at him. <laughs> yes. I was, I was an idiot. I, <laughs> and I will be again. <laughs> it's a 100% guarantee on that. <laughs> so, but yeah, so that's, that's Brian and... Uh, that's it for today. So thanks for watching. Thanks for, for coming on the camera and doing this no as, awkward, as awkward as it is. And uh, God bless and see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Oh, wait, by the way, no, sugar sucks. Is this still recording? Yep. Because I was totally singing your theme song two awesome. minutes ago. <laughs> I'll save that. Use that for me. <laughs>